Greetings. My name is Sibule Lekoyana. I'm from Tata, Eastern Cape. Uh, I came here referred by my colleague because of my problem. I had an accident in 2001, June 4th. Since then, my health has been on and off because I even have a palpitations with my heart. So I've been on and off in hospital, in and out. The first time, first time I got an accident, uh, I think it was in 2019, January. But I was driving my friend's car, then my car was driving my by my brother, it came to me. We were following each other, but I wasn't hurt, it was just the cars. And then the second one, it was in 2001, 4th of June, yeah. I was driving to town to fetch my brother. Then I bumped to another car, then the car went off road. I hit a, a, a V train, then my spinal cord broken. Then, since then, the problem, the challenges it happened, uh, then I was admitted, then I've been trans transferred to Deben. Then they did an operation in, in on the 8th, no, oh no, on the 9th of June 2001. Since then, my health was up and down, on and off. Then in uh, 2002, sorry, it's tw 2021, uh, 2022, uh, in September, I had, uh, my, my heart was beating somehow. Then I was being admitted for palpitations. Then the doctor suspected that uh, I'm having a depression due to the accident. Then he admitted immediately because I visited the doctor. Then I told him, this is what is happening. Then he said he can't prescribe me something due to the beatings of the heart. He wants to admit me, then and assess it, how is it going. Then, yeah, I stayed there, uh, I think for two weeks. And then, yeah, everything went well. Then I met a psychologist, I go for physio. Uh, in 2022, November, I was feeling my, wasn't feeling my legs. I couldn't walk from the waist going all down the feet. I was having numbness and the cramps. Then I went to the doctor, the doctor said, nah, uh, it's the nervous system. Then uh, it did me a rhizotome, which is an operation. Then uh, it kept me for a week. Then after uh, I left back to Eastern Cape from Tata. And then in the beginning, mid, mid March, yeah, came again the numbness and the cramps. And uh, this time was not the same like the other time before. And then he said, nah, this thing, usually, if it did a rhizotome, the one I did in, in uh, November, it doesn't do it again. It do it once. Then, when he did me again, then, uh, yeah, since then he told me, if this thing happen again, we have to do an operation, which is I have to remove the bone, the cord in my spinal cord, so that uh, I can manage to cope with my spinal cord. Then I said, okay. Then you um, said, um, if this thing happened, probably next year, because after a year, I have to visit him to check whether everything is still fine in the things that installed at the back. Then I said, if 
that doesn't know he will give me a will check. That's all. It affected me because uh, even at work performance uh, it dropped. But uh, my my manager was understanding because this is old. Then he said, "No, even my the one my senior, the one that recommended me to come here, he said if I I am having a challenges at work, I must stay at home or I, or I work at home." Then I told them, nah, working at home, I, I think a lot. And uh, I won't be able to cope. Or rather, at work to meet colleagues, at least it's a relief to meet other people and talk. And uh, Then, uh, yeah, because even now I'm, I'm using sleeping tablets. I don't sleep. If I didn't took sleeping tablets, uh, I think a lot. Uh, and it affects my heart. In the, uh, the prophet, at the time we were in the group, he said, uh, uh, I will heal, I'll get healed. And he asked me what happened to my business that I was doing. And then I told him that uh, I just stopped. Uh, my God, I want to pray for you. God will heal you. You hear me? You believe that? Hmm? I can't see you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> did you start a business? Uh, yes, but I stopped. Why did you stop? Uh, it was needing my time because I was working there. Yeah. You are here, you could be here to be restored. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're going to function, I'm telling you. You are totally going to function. Uh, the time I met him on one-on-one -on -one sessions, he said, uh, I will be healed. And uh, there are people behind these old accident things, and they don't like my success. And they tried to destroy me and even my manhood and everything starting from spinal cord from the operation going down yeah and he asked me am i married then i told him no then he asked where's my wife then i said i don't have it then he asked me about my child i told him he's in Limpopo. then he asked me I'm from Eastern Cape and uh, Limpopo. It doesn't make sense. Then I told him I was staying in Pretoria. I was studying that side. Then he said, oh, yeah, I understand now. The Limpopo and Eastern Cape thing. Then uh, he told me that the baby mama is not happy. Whatever we fought about, uh, but is not happy. But I told him that... Uh, she moved on with her life, so there's nothing I can do. I'm taking care of the child, but the other time we agreed the child they will come and study with me and stay with me. We agreed, then came the child, then later he took the child. So, yeah. Yeah, I felt relieved because. Uh, even my senior said, now this thing, yeah, you've been in and out in hospital, and this thing of you operating each and every time, getting operations, it will destroy you even internally. But uh, let's try an another option. At least you see that you've tried but I, I have a faith that coming here, yeah, there will be something different. Even I will feel that, uh, yeah, there's a change. I'm going to go the hand of God. Close your eyes. Jesus name. Yes. Yeah. 
that place, I think. So you also had an opportunity of sitting down with the Apostle one-on-one. -on -one. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yeah, is the one who said I uh, must distance my friends because they are the one distracting me and I uh, must stop drinking. And uh, yeah, uh, there is a business coming for construction. Yeah, then he told me that there's a friend of mine have a bike. I must stay away from him. He had a gun. So, yeah. Yeah, the guy, yeah. Then, uh, with my friends, even that guy said, my friends are distracting me. And you confirm it to me too. Do you think they are distracting me? Yeah, I love friends. So, yeah, they yeah. are. So. What changes are you going to implement moving forward after the Apostle, while well, both the Apostle and Prophet Andres guided you? Is to cut alcohol, uh, distance my friends, then focus to my career. And how do you feel after a one-on-one -on -one session with both the Apostle and Prophet Andres? Yeah, there is a relief. Because they, I can see the direction. Because I, the one for today, I even told him. Because he said uh, there is a uh, there's a business that uh, God gave me for construction. Then I told him that uh, I was I was taking another side. He said no, I must leave that one, do this one, and focus on this one. That's where your your path is it. Yeah. I will encourage them to come in because uh, firstly we don't know each other, me and the pastor. So we just said things that uh, were happening to me. So I will encourage some people to come and visit him. And then uh, you will know which direction is go you're going to.